Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Bright Sellers, the monthly wine subscription box that comes right to your doorstep. Take the seven question quiz and wines will be matched to your taste preferences. So Bright Sellers makes it a no brainer. I love the fact that I take the quiz and the wine choices are personalized to my own taste. Another great thing, particularly during these times of social distancing and self-isolation, is that the wines are delivered right to my doorstep. There's no need for me to even leave my house, and I know the wines will be ones that I enjoy because they're based on my preferences. Another great thing about Bright Sellers is their emphasis on education. Each bottle of wine comes with these really informative, beautiful cards that have all the information about the wine, where the wine came from, what temperature it should be served at, so much information, which I love. I love learning about new things, including wine. This is my second Bright Sellers box, and what I appreciate is that the selection is more tailored to my preferences based on my opinions of my last box. I'm going to taste the Mojave Rain, and this is a Merlot. It comes from the north coast of California, which is my home state. I love that sound. I think this is the perfect way to prepare for what I'm about to eat. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. So this is a really great wine for me. It's a medium bodied wine. It's not too assertive, not too aggressive with its flavoring. It's crisp, it has flavors of berry in there, but it's not syrupy. It's not too light either. It's lovely. I think this would be the perfect little dinner wine for me. Mm -hmm. Bright Sellers is offering 50% off your first six bottle box of wine. Just click the link down below, take the test and get started. Big thanks to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. Now today I'm going to be tasting something I've been wanting to taste for years and it is a gooey duck. So gooey duck has such an interesting name. You may have seen the spelling and didn't know it was pronounced gooey because it's spelled G-E-O-D-U-C-K. It looks like geo duck, but it's pronounced gooey duck. It actually comes from a Nisqually word for this creature, which is a very long lived clam. The average age of these clams is 140 years. It's the largest bivalve on this planet. And it looks very, very phallic. Now I've eaten plenty of phallic things on this channel, including a banana candle, including actual penis in penis ox soup. But this definitely takes the cake. My lovelies, I give you the gooey duck. <laughs> okay, my lovelies, I present to you the gooey duck. Isn't it amazing? Look at this. This phallic portion is the siphon. The clam lives in the sand. The siphon goes all the way up to the surface. This stretches at least two times its length. And that's how the clam breathes. It's a bivalve, there are two shells, and I'm going to be eating it raw, sashimi style. And this is the part that's really coveted. This is the siphon or the neck or the shaft. What? I know, I know. <laughs> Of the clam inside here is the stomach in Japan they boil the stomach and it can be eaten and then this top part here is sometimes called the belly or the breast it can be deep fried or it can also be sliced thinly and eaten sashimi style as well so here we are gooey duck so the reason why I decided to do a video about gooey duck is because I recently read an article in eater which I'll put the link down below which talked about how some businesses are really struggling because there's been a huge drop in demand for gooey duck because of COVID-19. So I thought in solidarity and in support, I would purchase a gooey duck. It was $80. It was overnighted to me. It smells of the ocean, perfectly fresh. It came packed in ice just overnight it to me, super fresh. I also purchased a box of oysters, a sampler pack. It's my husband's birthday. And they too were beautifully packed. They came with a shucker, just top notch quality. So during these tumultuous times, I think it's really important to support small businesses like Taylor Shellfish. So that's why I'm going to have my first taste of gooey duck. <laughs> 
So I watched a few YouTube videos on how to prepare this beautiful thing, and I will put the links down below. They include Becky Selguts and Chef Step. So thank you guys for educating me about this this beautiful thing. So we're gonna quickly blanch the gooey duck, and that's gonna allow us to remove this skin covering the shaft. I mean, I know, I know. Double entendres, let's do it. Put the gooey duck into a bowl. It's so big, it barely fits into the bowl. Hate to bend the shaft, but. Now I've got some boiling water, and I'm gonna pour this over the clam. So look how the skin is already blistering. We're just gonna put it in there for about 15 seconds. Not much time at all. All right, so I think that's enough time. It's already puffed up and dunk it in some ice water to cool it back down. Because we're gonna eat this sashimi style, meaning we're gonna eat this raw. So the gooey duck siphon has really prized, great, crunchy texture, and we wanna preserve that. We don't wanna cook this. We're gonna be eating it like you would eat oysters on the half shell. We're gonna eat this raw. The reason why we're blanching it is to clean it up and also to get it out of its shell with a little bit more ease. Give thanks to the gooey duck, give thanks. And now we're going to take the gooey duck out of its shell. Take a knife and just run it beneath the shell here. We're going to loosen it from this side. I'm gonna pry it apart. Isn't that incredible? Look at this. The shell looks actually very similar to what we call steamers here in New England. It's kind of a thinner shell, but each one of these rings represents a year. So beautiful specimen here. So same thing on this side, we're gonna... Ah, oh, it smells so good. It smells of the ocean. So right here is the stomach. Look at that, is that amazing? Look at that. I mean, if that doesn't look like testes, I mean, mother nature, you are incredible. We're gonna cut that right there. And in Japan, they boil this and this can be eaten. So I'm gonna set this aside. Now this beautiful part here that was holding the stomach is called either the breast or the belly. And it's much softer in texture and this can be sliced and fried or also eaten raw like sashimi. So I'm gonna taste that as well. I'm gonna cut this right at the base here. So we're gonna peel all of this off. I know. Are you men out there cringing? Don't worry, it doesn't hurt. It's all good. So we're gonna pull that off and there is the gooey duck siphon. And here is the skin of the outside. So you can really see how far the gooey duck siphon really can stretch. Look at that. It's probably three times the length of it now. Incredible, incredible. Slice this open, butterfly it. And this is what it looks like inside. And as you can see, there's some sand in there, some muck. So we're gonna rinse that out. Now we're gonna thinly slice this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I remember reading about gooey duck years and years and years and years and years ago. And I thought, someday I'm gonna go to Seattle and taste gooey duck myself. I still might do that, but in the meanwhile, I can do a beautiful thing and order it online and have it come right to my doorstep, beautifully fresh and amazing. But someday I will have it in Seattle, someday. I, will, I would love to actually go fishing for gooey duck. I love digging for clams here in Rhode Island. Our clams that we love to dig for are called steamers. They look a lot like a gooey duck, but they're a fraction of the size, but it is so much fun. It's like treasure hunting. It's just a delight. Now I'm gonna put these on a plate. I'm gonna serve these sashimi style, just like this. Alrighty, so there it is, the beautiful gooey duck, all ready for me to eat. Oh, I'm gonna slice up some belly too, because I really wanna taste that as well. This part is really tender. Much softer in consistency than the siphon. Ooh, I'm so curious to taste this. Okay, so I'm gonna put the 
belly portion over here. One of my favorite things in the world is going clamming with my boys and eating raw clams on the beach. It's just, it's perfect. It's really what it is. So Becky recommends a squeeze of lemon juice, soy sauce, and a little bit of olive oil. But I'm gonna do this sashimi style and just have it right out of the ocean as it came. So let's give us a taste. I'm so, so excited. Alrighty, itadakimasu. so delicious. It is so sweet. That is the sweetest clam I've ever had. And we eat plenty of clams. I love nothing more than going clamming with my family. I love the whole process of treasure hunting, digging, finding, feeling triumphant when you find a clam. We have a couple different varieties, including steamers, which are my personal favorite, but we also have cherry stones and little necks and quahogs. And we love taking the quahogs or the little necks and smashing them like a caveman on a rock. We, meaning my family, particularly my kiddos, and just eating the clams right there on the rock with a little bit of sand, just gritty and just grinning with the joy of eating clams on the shore. And this reminds me of that. It just tastes beautifully of the sea, just a little bit salty, but mostly it is sweet. It is sweet. It has a beautiful, beautiful flavor. and a delightful crunchy texture. It's toothsome. It's just delicious. It's not overly salty. Sometimes if you have oysters on the half shell, they're almost too briny with salt water. This is just the perfect balance of just, umami is really what it is, which I feel like is sometimes an overused word, but it's of the ocean. It's simultaneously sweet and salty, but this is so, so sweet. And the texture is phenomenal. Mm. <laughs> so that was the tip of the siphon and it has a much bigger crunch, more cartilaginous. Yes, that's what the crunch is like. Kind of like the cartilage that you can find in the keel of a, of a chicken, that kind of cartilaginous crunch is delightful. Once you get closer to the base of the siphon, the crunch is still there, but it's not as hard. Delicious. Okay, now let's try the belly. The belly is delicious too. A completely different texture, a much tenderer texture, more similar to a raw quahog, but not so chewy and has a great clammy flavor to it, but still so sweet. Gooey duck is incredible. Definitely one of my favorite shellfish ever, ever, ever. It's so scrumptious, so scrumptious. So much to be thankful for in this beautiful world so, so much, including very ancient bivalves. Thank you. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Big thanks to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to receive 50% off your first box of six bottles of wine, click the link down below, take the test and get started. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys are hanging in there. Thanks again for watching. Please take care, share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Hello, welcome to the Gooey Duck Show.